Hi there, my name is Neon and in this video I will be sharing with you a Notion dashboard template that I personally use to organize my life and I hope that, you know, someone will find some use in it. Most of this video will be just me explaining how I personally use it or um, ways that you could use it, but if you just want to check it out, the link will be in the description. So I'm just going to get straight into it. Before I kind of walk you through it, I wanted to get a couple um, disclaimers. Uh, just really really quick <laughs> okay so first of all this is not intended to be like an aesthetic template it's very minimalistic and I personally use in dark mode as well so it's, it's very plain so if you're looking for something aesthetic uh, this definitely won't be it and then the second thing I want to mention is that I don't personally use notion to take notes like for courses and stuff like that so if you're looking for something bad it won't be in here I just want to so the last thing I want to mention is that this is kind of like a dashboard template so it's meant to be kind of like the bare bones and you can add any like personal uh, templates that you use like for finances or I don't know for habit tracking and things like that you can kind of link them into this but they're not things that I personally use so I just didn't include them so yeah I'm just gonna get into it and I'm just gonna walk through how I use it so when you first go on to the template what you'll see is it's fall themed I really like the fall and I kind of just make like a duplicated version of this for each season just to keep it like clear and not to get it like overly crowded and then what you'll see is on the left there's like a navigation bar where kind of the main pages have been linked and there's a personal section so you can link like any personal pages you'd like to use like for example I have a migraine tracker that I might want to have like quick access to here then you'll see this at the top here there's like a quick to do so just like if you thought of something that you have to do but you don't want to spend um, like time actually inputting it I just like to like quickly just jot it down and then I get back to it when I have the time I'll get into this table in a bit and then at the very very bottom you'll see the all tasks kind of master list and I have just like some random things put in there um, right now just as an example but ideally you'd erase everything and start from scratch I usually set this up at the beginning of the year or beginning of a, like a school term so that I can have my syllabuses and just dump all the due dates the lectures assignments quizzes and stuff like that into it and then that way I don't have to keep going back to those files I can just look at everything here and dumping everything into the calendar at once allow you to kind of see what your weeks look like which weeks are busier which ones are kind of freer and you can plan your time around that so just to go through this master list kind of the columns you have the tasks the due dates these are obvious stuff in terms of category I personally like to have like the courses as a category like club doctor's appointments stuff like that so I have a few put in there but like this is kind of how you want to set it up for example if you want to have all your club activities and have them as a separate page you can add that as an option and then filter out by just club due dates so that's why I like to do it this way and then I also have a type so whether it's like a meeting a lecture a quiz and if you go into it you can see all the other options you can add more if you like then you have status which kind of you know and then priority and then notes in terms of like if you want to just jot down something quick so for example your quiz I might jot like oh you can take it as many times the grade doesn't matter or something like that in the notes so I can see it quickly so that's like the first tab of this and this is where I would go in and I would dump everything uh, then the other views are at the top up here as tabs you have the calendar view which is my personal favorite because I can look at how busy I am each month and since I've put in everything in advance I can look at like the future months and see how busy I'll be and kind of just plan ahead maybe to reduce that then you have the due today tab which will tell you what is due on the day you click it on and then due this week is what's due a week from the day that you're looking at it same thing for the month do this month so that's kind of like the all tasks page it's pretty straightforward you just put in everything related to your plans or whatever something new comes up you can just add it in it'll get organized by due date that's the main idea for the database and so the idea is now you have everything in one place you can add like tabs here to just look at specific courses but I prefer to do it here so in the navigation bar at the top left so now uh, about this navigation bar as you can see there's a section for courses but of course you can change this to suit whatever you're using this for I have placeholders for course one and two and if you have more you can just duplicate these and then rename stuff and refilter the table so just to go through the courses page as I mentioned I don't personally use notion for note-taking but if you have like a favorite way to take notes and you'd like to do that in Notion, you can add it here, you can replace this page with that template, for example, if you have something that you like. Uh, I feel like me and you don't really take notes on Notion. What I like to do here is under each course, store the syllabus so it's easy to find, and then I like to link the master list and filter it by just that course. So I can see all the assignments or readings or whatever associated with this specific course so that I can look at just this if I ever need to. And as with all of the pages or all the items, you can just remove whatever you don't like and change it around to kind of suit your personal style. You can also filter everything by personal. So for example, if you want to see all your doctor's appointments 
for club meetings, you can create that as a page, the same way you would for one of these courses. And the nice thing about doing it this way and linking to the main master list is that if you ever need to change something on any page, what will happen is that change will be reflected in all the other pages in which that item is in. And so you don't have to go back and redo that change every time, it just automatically updates. So that kind of just sums it up in terms of how the like main master list works and how I personally use it to put like information in, organize it and look at it in specific ways. But now I want to talk a bit more about like how I plan using this dashboard. Right, okay, so I kind of explained the top two kind of sections in terms of the navigation bar, but I want to move on to the bottom two. So I'm gonna move on to the like very, very last one really quickly. This is just a way to look at things that I do this week and this month on a separate page if you don't want to scroll all the way to the bottom. And then just kind of into the planners. So I personally like weekly planning. If I go into the weekly planner, what you'll see is now there's two extra columns. I'm gonna actually go to the assign view first and the way this assign view works is it has all the days of the week as a column and you can just grab the item you like. So for example assignment 2 which is due on October 7th which is this Friday. I want to work on it on Thursday so I can just drag it and drop it under Thursday. Actually I should work on it on Wednesday and I can just drag it around like that which makes it really 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 simple. It's very visual but if you don't like visual you can just come back here to this page. It's organized by due date again. It's it's kind of like the same view as the main view. Just really quickly, I'm gonna explain the two columns. The work on is just what day you wanna work on which item. And sometimes you wanna work on something on multiple days, so you can do that as well. So that's kind of <laughs> really straightforward. The context one is also kind of straightforward. Basically, for me, knowing how much effort I have to use to do an activity might help me decide what days to work on it. So to give an example, I'm gonna add reading two for my second course, and I have to do it by Monday of next week and it's a reading. I haven't started it yet. It's not very important. Okay, so it's Sunday and I'm looking at what my week looks like and I'm looking at it in the calendar view and I see that I have a few lectures and then I have an assignment and a reading due this week. So I know that I have a lecture on Wednesday. I'm not going to be in the mood to work on an assignment, but I could be in the mood to read after it. So I would go here and I would put on Wednesday. That's when I want to do the read. And then in terms of context, I'm going to be reading it on my iPad and taking like notes and putting annotations on it. It doesn't have to be on my desk. I can do it with music and it's very low energy. And then when it comes Monday, I can click on Monday and see, okay, I have to do this quiz. And then I can come to Wednesday and see, okay, I have to do this lecture and I still have to do this reading. Thursday, same thing, same idea. And so the beauty of doing it this way in Notion is for example, I was supposed to do the reading on Wednesday, but I finished the lecture, I was exhausted, you know, I wasn't in the mood. So I come back to my Notion on Thursday and I realize, oh, I didn't do my reading on Wednesday. So I can just come here into this assigned page on the weekly planner and grab this reading move it to Thursday. And now it's like I was never supposed to do it on Wednesday in the first place. But yeah, so that makes it really easy to kind of just reorganize your plan if something does come up and it's not like set in stone, which is what I personally prefer. All right, okay, so that's everything about the weekly planner and how it works. And just gonna briefly touch on this next day planner. So I mainly use this when I'm like really, really um, busy, when I have a lot of things to do and I don't know where to start or what to do. And I really need to do a, like a strict plan for the following day to get a lot of stuff done. So what I'll do is I'll go into this in the next a planner at night the night before and I'll look at this list to do this week this will show you all the stuff that you actually have to do which will be from the main list that you created in advance and then you can come here into this night planning, which is a, it's a completely separate list, but the idea is you're actually sitting and you're planning it step by step. So what you can do is, for example, I wanna work on that reading, so I'm gonna add reading to, and then you wanna link it to the actual activity so that I can just pull all this information and you don't have to re-input it. So it's right here, I can add this, and it immediately pulls everything that I have associated to it. And if you wanna be very, very like strict about it, you can create a timeline view and add dates and times. And so that you don't forget that you decided you were going to work on these. When you go back to the main page, when you wake up in the morning and you open it, it's kind of like the first thing that hits you. And since it's here and it's telling you the priority and the context, you can just pick the one that's easiest and just start simple and just work your way through it. So yeah, that's kind of just like a walkthrough of the dashboard. I just wanted to briefly mention another word at the end. If you've made it here, I'm sorry, I'm very rambly. But if you've made it this far, I just want to mention that I don't personally use widgets. But if you do like widgets, I'll put some like links to widgets in the description that you can use. And I think most of the websites show you how to embed them. If you don't use Notion in dark mode and you want to keep the same icons that I'm using for the weekly planners and stuff like that, I'll leave a link to the icons and all you have to do is make sure that the website's toggled onto light mode. And yeah, that's it. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this video to be helpful and I hope that some of you find this dashboard to be actually useful. And the link is in the description as I mentioned. Um, if you've never copied a template before, you need to click on the link and then if you click on duplicate, it'll just bring it into your own um, notion thing. <laughs>
So yeah, I hope you found this useful and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!